What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, guys. Today, I want to share with you the way that I've been dieting, the way that I've been leaning out. And I'm telling you, it's working like a charm for me. So I got to share it with all you guys. Now, this isn't just a fad diet. This isn't just something that I came up with off the top of my head. Like the um, thumbnail on the video says, this is actually scientifically researched excuse me, and shown to be superior to the traditional way of dieting down. Now, we all know the traditional way of dieting down has had great results for thousands of people. So if this is scientifically shown to be superior, I mean, it's got to be a great way. And I can testify myself that I'm doing it now and I'm seeing great results. It's easier to adhere to and it gives you better results. It's shown to have greater benefits when it comes to muscle retention and possibly even adding muscle while you're leaning out. All right, so first of all, let's go over the old way of dieting down. So we're all on the same page here. Traditionally, what we do when we're cutting or leaning out, dieting down on a fat loss program, we go into a deficit, a caloric deficit, usually 500 calories a day. So what we do is we have our maintenance level of calories, the amount of calories it takes for us just to maintain our weight, and we subtract 500 calories and eat that many calories every day. So here's our maintenance level. We're going 500 calories underneath that every day. Then usually once a week, we'll have a cheat day or a refeed day. Now the purpose of a cheat day or a refeed day Besides just the comfort of it, besides just the break on the diet, there's a strategic purpose. And that's to bring ourselves back up to maintenance levels so our metabolism doesn't try to dip down and adapt to the deficit that we have it in. Because if we're just traveling along constantly in a deficit, eventually our metabolism is going to adapt to that deficit. And then we're not even going to be losing weight. We're going to be losing less weight as it's adapting. And eventually it will, it will adapt to the calories we have it at. And we won't be losing any weight. And then when we go off the diet and try to go back to our, our old maintenance levels, we'll actually be putting weight on. So that's the purpose of having once a week a refeed day to keep that metabolism up, to keep it from coming down. Now this new way is far superior because it's shown to keep our metabolism always at where it's at and never, it, we're never in danger of it dipping down. And this allows us to keep our strength. It, it's been shown even to help us add more strength and quite possibly add muscle. Now let me get into it. It's called intermittent energy restriction. The energy restriction is just basically a diet. That means we're going into a caloric deficit, uh, uh, energy restriction or a caloric restriction. So it's intermittent energy restriction. So what we're doing is we're only briefly in a diet. Five days a week, we're eating at our maintenance levels. That means we don't have to worry about being on a diet five days a week, we get to eat as much calories as our body needs. So we're not, it's never going to be a battle of willpower. We're feeling great five days a week. And this translates in the gym. We're in the gym still making strength gains and quite possibly making muscle gains, adding lean muscle mass to our physiques while we're leaning out. So how do we lose the weight? Well, two days a week, we go into a drastic deficit. Now you might say, well, hold on a second. A drastic, de a drastic deficit can't that crash my metabolism? No, because it's only two days. Our metabolism is going to be running smoothly five days a week. Our metabolism isn't going to adapt to something that we're only doing for a brief minute. It's just a blip on the radar. We're traveling along at maintenance and then we dip down for two days before our metabolism could even think about adapting. We're right back up at maintenance again. So what kind of deficit are we talking about here? Well, it all depends exactly how much weight you're trying to lose. For me, my maintenance level is 3,300 calories, and I'm happy to deduct 3,000 calories a week out of that. That's basically a little under a pound a week. Now, that's the same thing I would be doing if I was in a 500 a day deficit and then once a week having a refeed day. So to subtract 3,000 calories a week out of my diet, that's going to be 1,500 over two days. So that's 1,800 calories a day for two days. I do it on Sunday and Monday. So Sunday, 1,800 calories, Monday, 1,800 calories, and the whole rest of the week, 3,300 calories. Like I said, this is scientifically shown to have more benefits than the traditional way of dieting down, and I'm going to link two studies in the description box that you guys can check out. Now, anybody who follows my videos knows I'm a big proponent of flexible dieting. 
on these diet days, it's a, it's a lot less calories to work with. So I still, I'm still doing flexible dieting, but to a lesser degree. I'm eating a lot of clean foods or so-called bro foods. And the reason for this is because these are satiating foods. And if you guys know me, I'm all about adherence. I'm all, all about making a diet easy on yourself so it's never a battle of willpower, so you never feel like just throwing your hands up and quitting the diet. So on my two 1,800 calorie a day days, I'm eating a lot of these clean foods. Um, for instance, uh, tilapia, flounder, chicken breast. Chicken breast is great. It's a lot of protein. It's um, very satiating. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm going for nutrient dense foods. So um, sweet potatoes, whole grain breads, oatmeal, fruits, everything I'm mentioning right now is going to really fill you up and help you stick to the diet. And then even with a little bit of calories I have left over for snacks, I'm trying to find satiating snacks. I'm trying to really make sure that at the end of the day, I feel full and it's not a battle of willpower that at the end of the day, even on my low calorie days, I still feel good. So when it comes to snacks, what I, I do a lot of time is on um, popcorn. I'll get a bag of lightly salted organic popcorn because the, um, the one I get, you get three and a half cups and that's only 130 calories. So if I got a little under 300 calories at the end of the day to play with, I could eat seven cups of popcorn. There's a lot of fiber in that and that's very satiating. It's very filling. So that's kind of my diet on these dieting days. And for the rest of the week, I'm telling you, and now you might say, well, how am I going to feel in the gym on these diet days? I haven't felt any effects in the gym on the diet days because, like I said, it's not enough time for our metabolism to adapt to it. Our metabolism still feels like it's traveling along at maintenance. We dip down quickly, and then we're right back up at maintenance again. So my metabolism, I never feel the effects of the diet days. Listen, guys. It's working great for me. The scientific evidence to show that this is superior than the traditional way. So I had to share it with you guys. All right, I'm going to keep this video short. If you got any questions, comment below. And listen, I really appreciate everybody who's been liking and subscribing and commenting. Do me a favor. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment. And if you like the video, share the videos. Go back, look at the old ones, see if there's any topics that you're interested in. And stay tuned for the future videos. I got a lot of good topics I'm working on right now. I'm just putting together all the research because I want this stuff to be, you know, I want it to be accurate for you guys. I want to give you guys the most information on these topics that I can give you. All right, guys. Until next time.